Hey, this is John from the Trucker John Show, and this is Bailey. When we're not driving our big truck, we're hanging out with Trucker Josh at TJV. What's this? A weasel. A weasel. <laughs> Good boy. Look at me. What is it? What is it? Oh, is it gonna hurt me? Am I gonna be okay, man? You ready for a new day? You ready? It's gonna be a long day, but we're gonna be at home at the end of today. Uh-huh. Yes, guten Morgen. Good morgen. Good 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 day. Good day, mates. Bonjour. We're in uh, Floyd, Iowa, and we're about one day's drive from home. I gotta get home tonight because tomorrow afternoon, my aunt's getting married, I wanna be there for the wedding. There's a ceremony. Uh, well, I might, I might be there for the ceremony. I don't know if I can stay for the reception or not. We'll see. We'll see, because after that, yet I have to drive another five, six hours out to Weyburn, Saskatchewan to unload the next day. So it's gonna be busy. We're gonna be flying today. We're gonna be in the left, left lane gang all day, so. Let's hammer down. Let's get out there. Let's get out of here. I had a great sleep. I feel great. Fantastic. Today's going to be a good day. So we stayed here at the 218 truck stop on the 218 in Iowa. Like I was telling you last night, there's a, a new Love's Travel Plaza across the street, which is pretty convenient, but that parking lot always fills up right away for some reason, so I always come park here. I got my coffee from here today. It's just as nice. I mean, it's just not such a big, well-known name. This is more of a uh, more of a local ma and pa truck stop, you know? Whereas Love's is growing actually pretty quickly. Love's used to only be like in Oklahoma, right? Like around that area, the southern Midwest. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's spread to the entire nation. I'm surprised there's not one in Canada already. I'm sure they're looking into it. I'm surprised that no other big truck stop company, corporation, has moved into Canada yet. Oh, we'll wait for one more vehicle. Another little Ford Ranger. Oh, this town's got a lot of these little mini Ford Rangers here. Oh, he's turning, okay. Yeah, but Flying J, Pilot Flying J is making huge strides in Canada, building Two truck stops across the nation. Right on US 18. And they're very popular, and they've sort of outdone all the regular Canadian truck stops travel plazas, which have sort of forced the other Canadian travel plazas like Husky, Esso, and uh, Petro Canada to update their truck stops and their facilities to match Pilot Flying J, right? So now we got a whole bunch of nice truck stops. That's the free market competition makes everything better. So they came in. I'm surprised Loves hasn't taken advantage of our Canadian market yet and opened up a couple of locations up there. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure everything's American owned anyway, right? <laughs> Continue on this road for 50 kilometers. But, yeah, like I've always said, Pilot Flying J is, is my travel plaza of choice just to uh just because it's on both sides of the border it's all across canada and all across the united states so it's convenient for me i can always get a free shower i can always get my pilot rewards points i can always get good premium wi-fi and i'm not
about working for them. I did it in the past. I've done a few things for them in the past, but uh, we sort of split ways. I don't know. The last time I worked with them, I, I wasn't really impressed with their marketing team. I couldn't ever get a hold of them. There was very bad communication. I had no idea what they wanted me to do for them. Uh, I couldn't get a hold of them. Great company, but uh, the first year I worked with them, it was awesome. Great communication, always in contact with me. And then the second and third year that I worked with them, it was it, it sort of went, I don't know. Maybe they don't like me as much. Maybe I said something that offended them. I don't know, I still love their products. I still go to their truck stops all the time. I still make them lots of money. Yeah, well. It's break time. Figure I may as well fuel up at the same time. I have to take our 30 minute break. The US government says it's time to take a break. I say I don't need one, but they say I have to take it anyway, so I guess they win. But first, we're gonna go grab some fuel, some DEF. I'm below a quarter tank on both. Grab a new coffee before we leave. We'll sit here and surf through Facebook or something and until all the 30 minutes pass by. Useless break. I'm not tired at all. I don't need it. But the law is the law, isn't it? What does this say? DEF not working? Are you kidding me? Really? Keypad out of order. Well, this whole pump is out of order. Great. Okay, well, I'm not going to back up, but I'm going to... I really need DEF. Or I might continue down the road then to uh, Fargo or Grand Forks. Not cool, not cool. Hmm. Huh. Cool at all. It's the same at every pump. So I went inside and I asked them about it, and there was that one pump, pump 20. Oh, you're coming this way? Alright, I'll go this way then. Pump 20 that still was uh, pumping DEF. Most of the pumps, or actually all of them, but that one uh, weren't working. So I was able to get my fuel and DEF here, thank goodness. So I don't have to stop again on the way back to Canada. I can just go straight home. It looks like we'll be arriving at the yard around 12.30. I'll probably end up just sleeping in the truck and then running home in the morning. Otherwise, I get home, diesel freaks out, Chevy freaks out, the little guys freak out, the wife freaks out, everyone gets all excited, I get all excited. And then everybody's wide awake and we can't fall asleep. Or, even worse, she might be sleeping already and I disturb her sleep. I don't want to do that. All these lights coming up here, that's the Canadian border. I don't know why they have an open sign here. I guess sometimes they close it down. I've never seen it closed down before. It's open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I don't know why they, I guess sometimes they close it down. 
Well, yeah, we'll just quickly show them our ID. We've been in the U.S. for six days. We delivered our load down to Ellabelle, Georgia. Picked up this load in Jackson, Tennessee, and it's going to Saskatchewan. Those are the big things you got to have at the front of your mind when you get up to the window. Because they're going to ask you.